How do I find the benchmark numbers for 783? 783 is between 700 and 800. 700 and 800 are the benchmark numbers. In this lesson, you will learn how to locate benchmark numbers by using a number line. Let's review. The definition of rounding means to find a number that is close to a given number. On this number line, I have Morgan and Ashley, who want to have a party. They want to have cupcakes and pizza at their party. Morgan is closest to the bakery, so she'll head to the bakery to pick up the cupcakes. Ashley will head to get pizza because she's closest to the restaurant. We can do the same thing with numbers on a number line and move to the closest benchmark number. Let's also review the importance of understanding how to read a number line. Number lines can be written or represented in many different ways. Here we have a number line that has a benchmark numbers of 10 and 20. We would count by ones, or the dashes in between the 10 and 20 would signify counting by ones. Here a number line has 100 and 200 as benchmark numbers. We no longer can count by ones. The increments signify a different amount. Here we would need to count by tens, from 110 until we finally reach 200. And then on this number line, we have 1,000 and 2,000 as our benchmark numbers. We would need to count by hundreds between 1,000 and 2,000. A common mistake many students make is thinking that the increments on a number line always signify counting by ones. As you can see, sometimes we may count by tens, fives, twos, or even one hundredths. Let's look at the number 783. What are the benchmark numbers for 783? There's several different options. First, let's focus on the hundredths. If we focus on the hundreds, we know that 783 is between 700 and 800. 700 and 800 would be the benchmark numbers if we focus on the hundreds. We would count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, to finally get 783. If we focused on the tens or the eight in 783, the benchmark numbers would be 780 to 790. And we would count by ones. 781, 782, 783. Let's look at another number. What are the benchmark numbers for 2,356? Again, there's more than one solution. If we focus on the thousands, the benchmark numbers would be in the thousands. We would say 2,000 and 3,000 because 2,356 is in between those numbers. We would count by hundreds, 100, 200, 300 to get 2,356. If we focused on the hundreds, our benchmark numbers would need to round to the hundreds. So we would have 2,300 and 2,400 because 2,356 is between 2,300 and 2,400. Here we would count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 to get 2,356. Let's look at 985. What are the benchmark numbers for 985? If we focus on the hundreds, we know that 985 falls between 900, and the next group of 100 is 1,000. We have to move to the next place value. We'll count by tens to locate 985 on the number line. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 985 would be right about here. If we focus on the tens, the benchmark number would be 980 
and 990. We would count by ones until we reach 985. In this lesson, you have learned how to locate benchmark numbers by using a number line. 